What's going on, Taconic? My name is Zachary El Sadiq. And I'm Ian McGrath. And let's leap on into this morning news. Today is Friday, January 17th, and the periods for today are 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 3. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today for lunch, we have Sal's Cheese Pizza, Sal's White Garlic Pizza, or what looks like a new flatbread pizza with a side of roasted cauliflower, broccoli, and baby carrots with dip. If you are looking for something fun to do, free skate night at the Boys and Girls Club is coming up. The first 100 people through the door will receive both free admissions and skate rentals. Juniors and seniors, the next SAT is March 14th. Remember, the deadline to register is February 14th, and the fee waiver deadline is March 3rd. Seniors, BCC Instant Admissions Day is Wednesday, January 22nd. Today's your last day to submit a transcript from Guidance and to complete our online BCC application. Sign up in Guidance soon to meet with a BCC admissions representative. Now, over to Nolan Smith for more of our world's lesser known current events. <laughs> This week, three of the best Jeopardy! players to ever live faced off in heated competition to determine who was the best of all time. These three contestants were Ken Jennings, who has the longest winning streak of 74 wins, James Holzauer, who won over $2 million in 32 games, and Brad Rutter, who is the highest earning contestant to ever play a game show with over $4.3 million won overall. After multiple heated matches with multiple very hard questions, Ken Jennings won the three matches he needed to secure the win and the million dollars. Now back to Ian and Zach for some sports. Thank you, Nolan. Uh, the hockey team on Wednesday beat a hot green field that was on a seven-game win streak, winning by a score of 4-3. to three. The next game is today at Southwick at 740. The Deconic boys basketball team handed Drury a crushing 77-48 loss on Monday night. Mohamed Sanogu scored 21 points and got off to a hot start with 10 points in the first quarter. But the key for Taconic was the second quarter when they outscored the Blue Devils 19-14 to take a 36-17 lead into the locker room. They finished off the second half strong. Now I'm going to pass it over to Period 4 Productions for this week's Spanish segment. <laughs> Buenos días, Taconic. Hoy es viernes 17 de enero y hoy les traemos los anuncios de hoy. No se olviden de registrarse para los exámenes de SAT. Las fechas se aproximan. Para los sophomores y seniors hay más oportunidades. Contacten a su consejero. Para el lunch, hoy tenemos pizza de queso con salsa de garlic y de barbecue. Que tengan un buen día, Taconic. Thank you, period four. Now let's pass it over to Mr. Wojcik for his very special Wojcik's weather. Hi everyone, uh, let's get right to uh, what we're looking at. We're going to have a busy uh, weekend weather-wise. Uh, you can see this low, it's going to be moving across the country into the northeast and that's going to give us some uh, snowy precip on uh, Saturday. Uh, looking at possible snowfall totals from the storm and it's, it's still a little early but um, I'm thinking uh, up by us, uh, Pittsfield North is going to be anywhere in the 6 to 12 inch range. Further south you go, there'll be less snow, there'll be some rain and mix mixed in. Further north you go, you'll actually see higher accumulations up into Vermont. Looking at the local temps right now, we are in <coughs> high 30s, low 40s. We'll stay that way for a little bit. And looking at the regional, same thing. High 30s, low 40s, uh, getting in the weekend. So let's get into that forecast. So right now we're in a pattern where we're kind of locked in where, uh, and I don't see it changing for a while, where it's going to be dark at night, um, probably every night for quite a while now. And looking ahead, uh, Friday is going to be cold, uh, 20, uh, 4 overnight. And Saturday, you can probably expect midday, probably anywhere between 12 and 2 around Pittsfield. You're going to see that snow starting to pick up. It's going to go through Saturday night, okay, and into early Sunday morning. Going to be probably 30s, okay, for that. 
Uh, Sunday, eventually, it'll start clearing out. Then we're going to be locked into it with some cold temps. And don't forget, we've been o above normal for a while now. So Monday and Tuesday will be um, high 20s and low in the single digits. And I'm going to leave you today with a thought for the day as opposed to a, a quote for the day. This is a uh, black box flight recorder from an airplane. And you notice that it's orange. That's the first thing. I think the original black boxes were black. They make them orange now bright so they can hopefully find them after. But if you think about this, this black box is indestructible and also can survive salt water. So the thought for the day is, why don't they make the whole plane out of this material? Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you, Wojcik. Faculty, staff, and students, if you have anything you want announced on the show, send them over to our email at TaconicTV at Pittsfield.net. This can range from just an announcement to a special segment. All students, the quarter is close to an end. Don't forget to keep those grades and attendance up for the movie The Sandlot at the end of the quarter. To end the show, we have our quote of the day. Your secrets are safe with me. I wasn't even listening. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Taconic TV. Remember to take responsibility, have respect, and strive for excellence. Let's move some mountains to Conic, and we'll see you next time.